Hello everyone, welcome to the first tutorial of this course. So in this tutorial we're going to start with a basic review of the libraries that we will use throughout the course. At the end of the video you will know how to load .ne and .ne GC images using Unspy and SITK. This is the common extension of MRI images. You will know also how to get basic information from the images, how to get the NumPy representation, and finally, how to effectively plot an image in the, Job, in the Jupyter Notebook. So now let's start. Uh, we start by importing our dependencies. We import this helpers model, which is a custom model developed for this course with some utilities. We import the ants and the SIGK libraries. We print out the version of these libraries as a good practice to know which versions which version we are using. The next thing we do is define a variable to identify our current project. Under this folder, we have a raw example to load. We now create a variable to load one raw example of an MRI image. As you can see, we are printing the paths as a good practice to always know the source of the images we are using. And this is something that we will do always in the course. So now let's start with AntSpy. To load an image, we use the path of our example and we use the function ants.imageRead. We press enter. This variable contains our image now. If we print the variable, we can get the basic information of the image. So let's press enter. Here, there is information of the image, such as the pixel type, dimensions, uh, spacing, origin, and direction. Now, to get the numpy representation, we call the method dot numpy. This uh, returns the numpy array. If we print the type and the shape, we can confirm this is effectively a numpy array. And due to this shape, we can say that this is a three, uh, 3D array. Now, let's see how to plot an image. Antspy has this method, ants.plot, where you pass the ants image. Um, there are some parameters, such as the fixed size and, and the axis. This axis parameter controls the different orientations to plot the image. If we press enter, uh, we can see this plot shows some slices of the image. We can change the axis parameter and see a different orientation. Let's, let's press enter. So as you can see, we have a different view of the image. We can change the parameter again and see uh, another orientation. So this is a view uh, from the neck up to the top of the head. Good, so this works okay for a basic plot, but for our purposes we need a better way to inspect the images. So we have this function explore to drill array, which is part of our helpers model. To use it, we pass the numpy array of the image. And let's see, we hit enter. Ignore this wording, just call it again. And as you can see, this is a ideal function because it allows us to inspect the image slice by slice. So we can manually go and see slice by slice using this widget. So this is a very convenient function. So now you know how to do basic operation using Antspy. That's it by now. Thanks for watching and let's continue in the next video.